Samuel Adams, First Chief Justice John Jay, named synonymous with the spirit of our country, founding fathers of the USA. Over 200 years ago, they shook off the chains of tyranny from Great Britain by the Blind Column. Citing 27 biblical violations, they wrote the Declaration of Independence with liberty and justice for all. But something happened since Jefferson called the Bible the cornerstone for American liberty, then put it on our schools as a light. And since give me liberty or give me death, as Henry said, our country was founded on the gospel of Jesus Christ. We eliminated God from the equation of American life, thus eliminating the nation, the reason this nation first began. From beyond the grave, I hear the voices of our founding fathers plead, we need God in America again. Of the 55 men who formed the Constitution, 52 were active members of the church. Founding fathers like Noah Webster, who wrote the first dictionary, could literally quote the Bible chapter and verse. James Madison said, we've staked our future and our ability to follow the Ten Commandments with all our heart. These men believe you couldn't even call yourself an American if you subvert the word of God. In his farewell address, Washington said, you can't have national morality apart from religious principle, and it's true. Because right now we nearly have 150,000 kids carrying guns to these war zones we call public schools. In the 40s and 50s, students probably were chewing gun and talking. In the 90s, rape and murder are the trend. The only way this nation can hope to last this decade is for God in America again. Amen. Amen. Abe Lincoln said the philosophy of the schoolroom in one generation will be the philosophy in government of the next. So when you eliminate the nation, so when you eliminate the nation that word protects. America is now number one in teen pregnancy and violent crime. Number one in drug use, literacy drug use, and divorce. Every day in the Holocaust of 5,000 unborn die, while pornography floods our streets like open sewers. America's dead and dying hand is on the threshold of the church, while the spirit of Sodom and Gomorrah vexes us all. While it gets to the point where people would rather come out of the closet than clean it, it's the sign that the judgment of God is going to fall. If there's ever been a time to rise up to churches now, and as the blood box saints of the living God proclaim, that it's time to sound the alarm from the church house to the White House and say we need God in America again. I believe it's time for America to stand up and proclaim that one nation under God is our demand, and send this evil lifestyle back to Satan where it came from, and let the word of God revive our dying land. For Jesus Christ is coming back again in all his glory, and every eye shall see him on that day. That's why a new anointing of God's power is coming on us, to boldly tell the world you must be saved. Because astrology won't save you, your horoscope won't save you, the Bible says these things are all a farce. If you're born again, you don't tempt to look the stars for your answers, because you can look to the very one who made those stars. History tells us time and time again to live like there's no God makes you a fool. If you want to see kids live right, stop handing out condoms and start handing out the Word of God in schools. The only hope for America is Jesus. The only hope for our country is Him. If we repent of our ways, stand firm and say, we need God in America again.